folks, it's Archer's Paradox. Good Saturday morning to you. This is uh, part two of the uh, Medicine Hat Archery Badger Broadhead testing. Uh, today we will be testing the accuracy of these broadheads. I will be shooting three different bow platforms. This is a uh, Trad Tech uh, ILF. This is a uh, takedown recurve. It's got the carbon fiber lens, but I'll go ahead and uh, shoot a couple arrows. We'll see how these uh, broadhead fly. This will be a good test. We've had uh, some pretty high winds the last uh, couple nights. Uh, it was blowing 20, 25, 30 mile an hour. We're probably still gusting up to 15 to 20. I've got about 11 o'clock wind, so we'll see how these broadheads fly in the wind. Very nice. All right, folks, we'll uh, move over to the uh, compound bow. This is my Hoyt 2012 Vector Turbo. Uh, my arrow is a Trophy Ridge Wrath 400 spine. Arrow weight is around 405 grains with the uh, 125 grain Badger Broadhead on the point. Uh, I'm estimating velocity around 280 feet per second. I'll tell you what, this is probably one of the worst conditions aside from maybe pouring down rain. Like I said, I've got about a 10 to 15 mile an hour almost full value crosswind from right to left. So uh, any, any, uh, inaccuracies in the broadhead or broadhead flight will be greatly exaggerated. This is about a 22 yard shot to the black uh, broadhead targets. Bingo. I was shooting for the six o'clock on that little white circle. All right, folks, this will be the ultimate test. My buddy Matt let me borrow his 10-point uh, uh, Phantom crossbow. Uh, I think this uh, crossbow is rated for around 350 feet per second. I'm, I'm guessing this uh, Easton Carbon uh, arrow is going to be traveling around 340 in the 340s maybe. Just an estimate. I haven't shot it through my chronograph yet, but let's see what happens. about smoking fast. Dang. I think I drilled a setter. Alright folks, well as you can tell, you know I've I've covered a pretty wide range of velocities for a specific broadhead from a, a trad bow that's probably shooting around 180 feet per second to a compound bow that's probably shooting around 280, to a uh, crossbow that's probably shooting in the 340s. So that is definitely an awesome test for a uh, fixed blade broadhead. Anyways, uh, stay tuned, we got more fun in action. All right, first test, I got a piece of a cedar fence rail. I got a, a two by six treated piece of uh, lumber. All right, folks, I just want to show you real quickly. Uh, this uh, broadhead survived a uh, impact on a uh, two by six treated piece of wood. Obviously, we all as hunters don't hunt wood, but I'll tell you what, this is probably equivalent to uh, 
to uh, sticking a uh, paddle bone on a deer. As you can see, the broadhead survived. Stay tuned. All right, folks. That's one of the reasons why I absolutely love my job. I want to caution you all, do not attempt a shot at home. This is my AR-500 armor steel plate. This plate is designed to take impacts from high velocity bullets. If you all seen some of my, uh, my uh, long range shooting, you know, I'm shooting this piece of steel, armor steel, with uh, rounds that generate over 3,500 foot pounds of kinetic energy. I just got off the phone with my buddy T down at uh, Badger Broadheads. I said, hey T, do you care if I try to shoot your broadhead into my AR-500 steel plate? He's like, go for it, man. All right, so stick around, here we go. All right, folks. Well, unfortunately, the uh, broadhead separated from the from the uh, arrow shaft upon impact, and I heard it skip off to my distance in that direction, and I can't find it in the leaves. But stay tuned. I'm going to try to find a uh, metal detector. We're going to recover that broadhead and see what happens. So anyways, uh, this Archer's Paradox. If you all want to find a uh, awesome flying, tough broadhead, check out Badger Broadheads. Uh, these guys down in Georgia. Awesome group of fellas. I'm really happy with them. Uh, hopefully coming up in Georgia, I'll be going on a hog hunt in uh, June with some of my uh, Facebook friends. Anyways, this is Archer's Paradox, signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video.